When planning out a pollinator garden, the types of flowers going into it are often the focus of the design plan. Flowers are the stars of the show, but there is a non-living feature that should be part of every pollinator garden, a water source for pollinators. Many pollinators will get much of the water they need from the nectar they drink. However, sometimes they need access to additional water sources and they also get vital minerals from the water they drink. Honeybees especially need access to lots of water during the summer because they use water to cool their hive. Providing bees and other pollinators with access to water is simple, and there are a couple of free and easy ways to do it. The first method is to make a birdbath of sorts for bees and butterflies. Obviously, bees and butterflies don't bathe. It would end poorly for them, and they do not like to get their feet wet, so there must be some modifications to the birdbath idea. Only simple materials that you probably already have around the house are needed, Let's get started. The first step is to find some kind of shallow dish or pan that will hold water. A pie pan or old cookie sheet will work fine. The trays that flower pots sit in also work great. Fill the container with rocks, marbles, corks, slats of wood, small sticks, stemmy dried grass, or similar items. Basically anything that will give the bees and other pollinators a place to land. A rock placed in the center on top of the lighter items such as dried grass or sticks will help keep them in place and also make it a little easier to change water when you have to. Next, carefully fill the container with water. The water should just poke up through the cracks between the material you added to the pan. Bees and most pollinators in general can't swim and will drown if they fall into the water and can't crawl back onto something. You want the bees or other pollinators to be able to drink without getting their feet wet because this reduces the chance of them drowning. Empty and refill the container often enough to keep mosquitoes from developing in it. However, unlike with a hummingbird feeder, you don't have to worry if the water in your pollinator water gets a little scuzzy. Honeybees and some other pollinators prefer what we would consider dirty water. It is generally believed that they are after the minerals and such that the scuzz and dirt adds to the water. Don't let it get too gross, but it's probably going to get too dirty for you before it gets too dirty for the bees. I have seen honeybees absolutely swarming on stagnant puddles, thick with algal soup, and totally ignoring crystal clear water just feet away. If you are finding this video useful, be like a butterfly fluttering into a puddle and land on that like button. Another recommendation is to create mudding or puddling spots. Mudding or puddling spots are simply wet areas where the butterflies and other pollinators can land to suck moisture, salts, and minerals out of the ground. Wet soil can create great mudding spots, but so can rocky areas. Wet spots along our gravel driveway are favorite mudding spots for our butterflies. I'm sure they are getting nutrients that have leached out of the limestone gravel. You can create an artificial mudding spot by providing a wet spot of soil that is free of vegetation. Butterflies don't need standing water, and mudding spots are great when it comes to mosquito management. All you need is damp soil to create a mudding spot for butterflies, like this damp area next to a pollinator garden at a public park. This puddle has the added attraction of a Canada goose dropping, which this tiger swallowtail is all about. It may take a while for the butterflies to find your mudding spot, so be patient, and if possible, try to provide multiple sites around your property. You may find some spots are more popular than others. Artificial mudding spots also tend to be more effective during dry periods when there are fewer natural puddles and wet spots. If you like simple do-it-yourself projects for attracting wildlife and pollinators into your yard, you may like our book, Track Pollinators and Wildlife to Your Yard, 15 Free and Easy Ways. I will put a link to its purchase in the description, and thank you for helping support the channel with your purchase of this book. Providing water for pollinators can take your butterfly garden to the next level. You can kick it up another notch by learning some tricks to draw in butterfly species that rarely visit flowers. By watching this video, and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.